Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Tim with FaucetPartsPlus.com and today I'm going to be discussing on how to identify your stem based on how we have our site laid out. Um, easiest way to identify it um, to help you get the right product that way you don't have to return it. First off, um, on our main page um, we have it pretty much set up to where you can identify your stem by length and or spline count. Uh, both of those are, are really, really important. Um, the amount of splines uh, will determine um, which stem manufacturer you actually have. And the other thing is your um, your length. You definitely have to have the proper size cartridge. Now, I'll go over the best way to identify your cartridge um, is by spline count. Um, so what we'll do is 99% of the people can't really figure out how many splines they have. They can count them, but um, they're really, really hard to do. Uh, the best way to do that is to take a black magic marker or whatever color you have and actually take a spline and rub your magic marker on the end of one of these splines, just like that right there. Get it to focus in on there. There's a little black line on there. And then I take my thumbnail and I, um, I start out, we'll say that that one is number one, and then we'll go to number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, and then we're back to the black line again right there. That's the easy way to find that, um, 16 spline. The next thing is top to bottom length measurement. Um, a lot of people will measure from this gasket here on the bottom. The gasket is not that important on the measurement. Um, what we do is we go by the, the metal edge. So go from metal top to metal top right there. That one actually measures out Just a little over two inches. It's like two point, um, two point seven. We'll call it two point zero seven. So we would consider this a two inch tall stem. Um, by manufacturing, um, that there's not really that close on tolerances. Believe it or not. Um, most of the time this little rubber gasket down here will make up quite a bit of a difference on there you can see it squishes in pretty easily so it makes it to where you can get one that's exactly two inches then one is 2, 2.07 and it'll still work in there the main thing is is your width and your height and your um and your spline count so on the next thing that's pretty important is your width the width on the stem we go by the base which is the very bottom down here so we'll measure that, and they call that a three-quarter. Now, you can see that it does not measure three-quarter. It's just a hair short of three-quarter. Um, on these stems, they're not going to have a whole bunch of different ones. They're not going to have one that's like 0.77 and 0.26 and all this other good stuff. They're going to either have one that measures out three-quarter. This one will measure out... just a hair under three quarter we're still going to call that a three quarter this one measures out almost one inch it is pretty close it's 0.92 I think is what they call it or 925 something like that it's measures out 0.93 I believe on my calipers but mine are just plastic so they're not super accurate Anyway, um, that's the difference on a lot of those. They do make one that is um, a 5 8 um, It's going to measure a little bit smaller. It's going to be pretty much right in there on the width. So that, that's going to be a three main groups. You're going to have one that's 5 8 one that's 3 quarters, and one that's pretty much one inch. Um, so other than that, you're not going to have too many more odd sizes. Okay, another important part 
to identifying a stem is the length from the base um, to the to actually the, the ring right here on the very top this is pretty important you have to make sure that you go from the metal edge on the bottom to the bottom side of the metal edge there that one measures out pretty much 0.85 now that's three-quarter trim this is three-quarter trim too but you can measure it and this one measures out 0.87 so those two, you could actually probably screw that one into the same exact faucet and it would work just fine. Just have to make sure your spine count's the same. Now if you look at this one, this one is quite a difference here. This one is point, point 0.9, let's get it on there, uh, probably about point 0.96 or so. So it's almost one inch between here and here on the very bottom. We're not measuring this gasket because the gasket, like I was telling you earlier, um, will squish in and out. It'll make up some of the difference. The next most important measurement after you get your length from underneath the shoulder to the very bottom of the stem, you want to go from the bottom of the shoulder again to the very tip end of your, um, of your stem. This one measures um, 1 point, 1 point zero eight and a half, something like that. This one here will measure quite a distance here. Get it opened up here far enough. This one will measure out right at 2.6, 2.65 right in that area. And the bottom, the base, will measure out. We've got nine point, well, right at one inch, pretty much. Right on the money, one inch. So that's um, some of the most important features um, about the stem. You have to make sure that you get your proper length um, and your proper width, spline count, and um, if you've got a discussion ring or not, and hot and cold. Um, a lot of these stems, like this one right here, if you're if you're if you had this same exact stem pretty much but yours is just a little bit shorter on the top these are threaded all the way down in there this can actually be cut um, you can cut it pretty much about half of it right there and still have enough um, for your handle to get on there so you could actually you could actually uh, make the stem instead of instead of a little over two inches this stem could be all the way down to like Um, like 1.80 or so So if your stem is a little bit shorter or your handle sticks up too high off the faucet You can actually trim that this one is designed to be trimmed too. It actually has grooves here where you can cut in the middle of it So you could actually cut off that much of this stem if yours is um, if yours is shorter They make several stems like that that have the um, splines that can be cut you can you can cut almost every single one of them you just have to make sure that you don't mess the threads up on the inside and mess the grooves up to where you can slide your stem in there. Other than that, um, they're pretty pretty widely um, exchangeable. Okay, the next thing is um, hot and cold. Now, most of these manufacturers, if you'll notice, there's little notches cut out on this top edge right here. You can see it right on the corners. There's like a little notch cut there and a notch cut there all the way around it. That's to identify this. This stem is a cold stem. Now a cold stem will shut off. You can see it's open. It's open um, right now. So to close it, it's actually going to close counterclockwise on a cold stem. A hot stem is going to close clockwise it's going to close just the opposite it's open now and you can see I'm going to turn it clockwise and it's going to be closed the close what you can see down here in the bottom you can see the ceramic disc it's actually got um, two of them in it that rub together a little hard to focus on that 
But anyway, um, the next most important thing when you're uh, trying to identify your stem is if you have a escutcheon ring or not. The escutcheon ring is the little piece that's above the base right here, which is this little piece right here. It has the threads on it right there. Now, pretty much almost every single one that we sell, they're going to be the same size, which is pretty common for just about every stem with your escutcheon ring. And it's going to measure out right at 0.92. Okay? Now, you can see this stem is totally different from this big giant stem that's right next to it. But the escutcheon ring is going to measure out get this thing to focus um, just to, right at 0.92 so they're all gonna they're gonna use the same they're gonna use the same uh, machine to actually cut the threads on this right here and they're all gonna be fine thread so pretty much all the escutcheons are gonna interchange um, just the length of the escutcheon makes the big difference your um, type of thread that you have the type of thread um, most of the time you're going to see, you can see how this is. This is pretty coarse. That's a coarse thread. This is a fine thread. Now both of these are three quarter inch stems. But you can see the difference in coarse thread and fine thread. Um, if you don't have a thread gauge, which 99% of the people out there aren't going to have a thread gauge, You'll be able to tell if yours are coarse thread or fine thread by basically looking at this video. You can see that the um, there's almost twice as many threads on the fine thread versus the coarse thread. Um, that pretty much about sums it up. Um, there's not a whole lot to these. Most of the time you can identify them by spline count and length. You can go by both of those on our website and by the um, the width on the stem if yours is one inch wide or three quarter inch wide or five eighths wide um, there's going to be one also I forgot about it it's like 11 sixteenths which is going to be uh, pretty uncommon it's going to be mostly on the import stuff it's going to be a 20 spline stem um, that's pretty much the only ones I've ever seen the 11 sixteenths on they do make a metric thread too. So if you know if your faucet is an import type faucet, um, you're gonna have some kind of a funky little thread like this right here. It's not gonna be quite that coarse, but it's going to be um, a little bit kind of in between these two right here. Other than that, um, if you have any questions or any problems or anything like that, you can definitely contact us at faucetpartsplus at yahoo.com or you can give us a call anytime um, during normal business hours the best way is to send a picture go ahead and make sure you have all the measurements as discussed and um, email it to us and we can definitely identify it for us if you can't figure it out the first time thank you have a great day